Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Sagittarius. How are you guys? I did put singles readings up on Monday, so you can check those out in my playlist. Hopefully there's a message for you. If not, better luck next time. Oops, there we go. Lead. Okay, that's come out a couple times already. All right, Sag. Somebody here is a leader taking the lead. Somebody here is quite intelligent as well. So let's see what's going on, Sagittarius. Some of you may be going to school because I see somebody holding a, a scroll or like a diploma. It's a little bit of that hierophant energy, but this is somebody who's taking the lead. Uh, what they're holding is um, knowledge, wisdom, okay? Education, a leader. All right, Sag, let's see what's going on. Sagittarius, clear messages and guidance for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know? All right, Page of Swords. Someone is definitely thinking of communicating something here. This is someone who is kind of, it's an energy of someone who's trying to gain some clarity about something, okay? Two of Wands, somebody on a path making a choice. How to approach a situation. And some of that a bit of a crossroads. Yeah, so some of you might have a choice between two people. You have someone here that's uh, faster moving but doesn't necessarily tell you everything you need to hear. Okay, that could be the way they approach you. They kind of come in with a lack of clarity. There's definitely something that needs to be cleared up, okay, before you make a decision, before you choose, because this is a, a life path. This is a choice about which direction to go, okay, or between two. So, and I also see the Knight of Pentacles, somebody who's slower moving, more practical, sincere. Uh, it's generally a person who uh, likes to plan for success. They like to take their time. Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> so, you have a choice here. Oh, but yes, I see that leader energy, Sagittarius. There we go, yeah. So, you may have a few options or choices. Uh, there's someone here who be, may be, you know, trying to make a decision here. Someone who's procrastinating a little bit. Could be someone who has other options as well. But I generally see this as a procrastinating. It's time to make a decision. Seven of Cups. Okay, there's that seven. Yeah, could be you have a few options and you need to decide. So, yeah, I see a little rest. Kind of, oh, pardon me, three of swords. Okay, yeah. So there is a little fear of making a decision. A little heartbreak here. So this is a choice in love, though. Someone's scared to make a choice, okay? <laughs> yeah, but it's definitely about love. So yeah, there's something coming to an end. Something is over. So some of you may have been hurt. Someone may have, may have been a third-party situation that may have ended very painfully, but it's over, okay? So there's definitely some positive energy starting to move because I like towns. Yeah, it's about releasing and letting go. A little Aquarius energy. It's a card of healing, releasing old relationship baggage, making a choice, making a decision, all right, to put an end to something. So you may have somebody who's coming in to clear something up, okay? You might have someone who's coming in to shine a light on a situation to communicate. So let's have a boo. Whoops. Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know? What do they need to know right now? Sagittarius. Yeah, three of Wands. Yeah, so if you've been waiting for somebody here, I feel like you know, there's an energy of being trapped in a cycle. It's time to let go of something. You know, it's an energy of loving yourself first by releasing things that no longer serve you, finding that inner balance. It's a cleansing energy, so I feel as though there's definitely been either a third party. There's some Somebody is making a choice. Someone may have not told you the truth. They may have other options. Uh, it's, I feel like something ended painfully, so 
Yeah, so there's something here you're waiting for. And I feel as though some of you have been waiting for this person to come around. Uh, I'm going to be honest. If they come back around, they may do exactly the same thing. But it's about releasing patterns and habits. Okay, a little hierophant energy. Patterns and habits, things that no longer serve you. So I feel like you've got a communication coming here. Yeah, so we have that temperance energy. Oops, that came out six of pentacles. Yeah, so some of you are kind of pulling back here. You're kind of looking at something. There's something off of what this person tells you. Something's not right. They're not reciprocating. They're not sharing all their information. Okay. But it's also an energy of somebody who looks at things differently than they did before. Okay, they may be coming in to clear something up. They may be seeing things different, but it's also telling you to try something different. This is someone who keeps doing the same thing uh, over and over with the same results. Uh, a broken heart, okay, uh, repeating it over and over again and ends painfully. <clears throat> so it's saying to try something different. So Let's see what this, this is a choice, a decision. It could be yours. There may be something off with someone. There's something off with what they have to say because they're not reciprocating something. And it feels like there's a, definitely this person's thinking of coming around. Um, yeah, so definitely there's that choice. So you have a choice. Somebody may have picked the wrong person. Okay. Someone may have chosen another path, another person. But they're kind of looking at this. You're staying in the Empress energy, and I like that. You're kind of just sitting there in that Empress energy, kind of waiting to see what happens. Maybe you're keeping your options open. Uh, I feel as though you're definitely, you know your worth and your value. Someone here didn't see your worth and your value. They weren't reciprocating, you see. So I feel like you kind of stopped talking to them. Uh, and I feel as though you're definitely at that crossroads. But it looks like you got someone who chose another person. They may have had two people. Um... This is someone who's not really giving a lot, though. This is someone who sees something different. They see you differently than they did before. Because you're not reciprocating. You're not reaching out. <laughs> oh, I see some Taurus energy. Definitely strong Taurus energy here. Doesn't mean they have Taurus in their chart. That's just that slower moving um, energy of somebody who's... Someone who takes their time, yeah. So you have a King of Pentacles. Someone who's making plans. Somebody who's planning something successful. Someone who's successful here. They are financially successful. So I feel like you got someone here that you can see something's off. You're not reciprocating. You're not giving any more to this person. Uh, and I feel as though if you have a choice, you're probably more by what I'm seeing is that King of Pentacles. So... This so is someone practical, grounded, financially stable. They like to plan ahead. They like to um, plan things in the future, their finance or career. So I feel like you have a person who's at that crossroads. They're actually ready. Someone here is ready to uh, break free of something. Some habits, traditions, things that no longer serve them. Okay, And I feel you're going through that energy as well. Someone sees your worth and your value. Well, your ship may be here. And I feel as though uh, there's something going to happen with this eight. Something's ending with this. Yeah. So see, there's someone here feels they missed an opportunity. Yeah. So there you go. Some of you may have someone coming around. I feel like you're going to say no. Uh, it's not good enough. It's not what you want. So it looks like you're keeping your options open. But I see some happy news. There's something really positive going to come out of this energy. Wow, Sag, this one here wants to come out. Yeah, you've got somebody who's making a choice. They want to court you. They want to date you in a traditional manner. Uh, very nice energy. So this person is uh, a little bit afraid. A little fear. One foot in the door and out a little, but I feel that could be yourself as well. So let's see what this Three of Swords. It's not always, uh, it's, sometimes it's just love, so we'll see. Yeah. So someone's definitely, I see a Pisces energy or someone in the energy of just taking a pause. See, there's that approach, that path, taking a little pause to do a little introspection about their fears. Somebody 
Well, it keeps doing the same thing over and over again and it ends painfully. Someone's looking at their habits. They're seeing things different. Someone's seeing you differently as well and you're doing something different. <laughs> it's time to try something different. Okay, so let's see what's going on with that 10. There we go. Yeah, so there's someone here who may have been juggling. There may have been a third party where it's just a procrastinating energy. Someone's unable to make a decision. They're going within to look at their fears or look at things from a different perspective, seeing things differently after a period of time. But I feel like you got someone who wasn't telling you the truth. Uh, they weren't giving. They weren't reciprocating. You see, they may have been talking to other people even and maybe had other options. So there's that energy. Yeah, someone has some regrets and remorse. They weren't focusing on that two of cups. They were focused on something negative. But it's also a feeling of hope. Uh, loss of hope. Someone feels like it's kind of hopeless. Okay. Yeah, so someone who's taking a little pause here. A little moment to a little inner reflection to look at things from a different angle. Make sure you do. You see things from uh, several different ways. Their perspective, your perspective, that kind of thing. And that's what I feel. So someone's maybe seeing why you're not reaching out, why you're not talking to them because you're uh, valuing yourself. You want them to see your worth and your value. I feel like somebody here definitely does. So yeah, this is about work and inner work. Yeah, someone here regrets something. Uh, they feel like there's no hope um, for this to work. Some of you, that's what I feel. Like it's kind of hopeless. You're weighing the pros and the cons. Some of you may have somebody you're working with. This could even be a boss or something. And I know I get uh, a particular person who likes to comment that they, you should never um, date somebody at work. People do it all the time. <laughs> even their bosses. And it doesn't always end up bad. Everyone has to make their own choices. I had to bring that up because almost every time I see that scenario, somebody has to comment and say that kind of it's, it's rather negative for other people. Uh, it all depends on your work situation and what kind of work it is. It could be somebody that you work for or has done work for you. Uh, it doesn't have to be somebody where um, they're actually your boss. But I could actually see this procrastination tossing ideas back and forth about how something ended. Somebody is seeing this energy. Uh, and I do feel they are. there's definitely someone procrastinating. It's a habit, a tradition. It's the way they are. They focus more on their work than their love life. Someone has some regrets. Okay. And it could be yourself as well here. You know, feeling like there's no hope for something to work out. Uh, it's an energy where you're not putting any more work into something because it never works. But it's an energy of perfecting your craft. Okay. Being determined uh, to... Yeah, so there's definitely someone who's more decisive. So you got someone here who's definitely in that indecisive. Maybe you want someone who's kind of pulling back, wondering if you'll be interested in them too, because I can see that energy of someone who's planning. This is the King of Pentacles is someone who likes to be financially stable, someone who likes to plan ahead. They plan for success. They're, it's very, very important to them. And sometimes they stay single because they... Uh, work a lot or they're planning for the future. They're not ready to commit and that could be the case here. But I see someone here is definitely seeing you differently uh, because they've taken the time to do some seeing. They're seeing you differently, Sans. They're pulling back. They see you different than before. There's something different. You may have somebody who didn't reciprocate. Maybe you reached out to them and they didn't reach, you know, get back to you. But I feel like there's definitely some kind of change with this crossroads. And like I said, someone may have picked another person maliciously. Temperance, passion, yeah. So you definitely are very calm, very practical. And I feel there's, uh, you're going to notice something off with this person though. And that's what it feels kind of happened. But you've got a person who is valuing you. They're seeing your worth. If someone's attracted. They want to court you. They want to date you. They're becoming decisive. Uh, I see this energy. There's definitely some Libra energy here and Pisces. Tell me about this Aquarius energy. There we go. Yeah, there it is. The star purging and releasing, letting go, uh, valuing yourself. So you're some of you, it's just old relationship baggage, fears, uh, letting go of things that no longer serve you. So someone here may have been a little uh, afraid 
okay afraid of being hurt they may have ended things they may have you know, there may have been a third party where someone was juggling I don't know maybe someone regrets it so uh, it looks like there's a lot of scenarios here tell me about the three of wands there we go yeah so there's definitely an ending something is ending and there's a transformation some of you have gone through something ended painful and it's changed you but it's helped you release so I feel if this person comes back around you're not going to be so sure uh, you definitely won't be uh, taking any offers or anything uh, with somebody who doesn't see your worth and value they don't offer enough or they're not right for you but there's some positive news some kind of communication here something you're waiting for someone may be waiting for you to end something or you're waiting for someone to I don't know it's interesting here uh, but the death card with every ending comes a new beginning someone maybe feels they missed an opportunity with you uh, you may know them they could be in your social circle it's possible you got someone who's been kind of holding back waiting patiently for you to make a choice or to end a situation but it's that path it's a crossroads in life it could be one person or it could be two tell me about this six of pentacles yeah so you've got someone here who's definitely in that emperor energy Ooh, we got an emperor and an empress here oh my goodness this is someone who knows what they want and they go after it but i feel like you have someone here who wasn't telling you everything someone kind of wanted everything their way uh, they weren't reciprocating they may be reciprocating somebody wanted their cake and eat it too so you may be seeing this person differently maybe you're both seeing things different if it is a doesn't feel like a reconciliation so i don't feel there was ever a real relationship I just feel something is over it's done after healing purging and letting go this is um, two people who have released their old relationship baggage uh, it's healing it's balance tell me about this death card what is the transition here with this death, death card this is looking elsewhere keeping your options open um, yeah so there is definitely some of you are ending a relationship but i feel the transition is to move towards something better something really positive someone feels they missed an opportunity maybe they weren't financially stable when they you met them they didn't feel they were ready knight of pentacles slow and steady wins the race focusing on their finances this is king of pentacles intentions teamwork cooperation compromise this person is coming towards you i feel this person is someone who's looking for a partner this is someone who's now ready for a partner ready to team up they want to build something somebody wants to build something with you you may have a choice between two people here Saj you're kind of pulling back looking between two people you have an emperor here but this is someone who doesn't always tell the truth this is someone who see there's something off with this person they don't reciprocate they don't share they don't want to give anything it's a cake and eat it too emperor sorry to say maybe it's somebody who didn't have enough to give they needed to plan to make more money maybe they weren't ready it's an energy of looking at things different after um yeah see this is definitely an energy of a cycle ending and a new cycle beginning some of you things are about to start going in your favor someone's here sees you in a favorable light if you have a person around you that picked another person they may be coming back towards you seeing you differently you may see somebody differently as well but i feel like it's just a cycle uh, of this purging and releasing uh, this is an energy of two people who build something they build a foundation there's some after some kind of ending there's something really positive i feel like the waiting is over i feel like your ship is here i feel like there's some good news um, but i feel there's this energy of not being sure and i feel like it's yourself sad you're not really sure you're kind of going back and forth weighing the pros and the cons if there's two or if somebody you know, there may have been an energy of look seeing something different maybe you thought somebody was cheating or juggling uh, there was focus on a lot of negative something felt off off balance right somebody wasn't there was a lack of balance between you and another person but i think you got a person who's headed towards you uh, becoming very decisive 
could be someone you work worked with or worked for somebody very creative someone who likes to plan ahead they like to build and i feel that there's some kind of uh, energy here where this person's coming in very fast very quickly some of you are ending with somebody and moving in another direction very quickly it could be this person they could be someone who's ending something i don't know uh, but i feel as though you've got this person who wants to court uh, this dating energy uh, they do have one foot in the door and out okay it's someone who's dated a lot of people i feel they've had a lot of options they're looking at things different they're taking that little pause here to do with that three of swords see this is somebody at the crossroads here making a choice there's that approach that little bit of a pause making a decision kind of which way to go could be someone who had a choice between two i'll tell you the empress isn't very good at that <laughs> but i'm seeing that sad energy there twice i'm seeing you looking at this energy twice and i'm seeing someone looking at you seeing you differently or they're ready for something different maybe you're different than their usual type okay emperor and empress energy yeah something new is starting you got a new person coming in i feel like you're ending something with an emperor someone who wanted everything their way they weren't reciprocating they weren't giving they're focused on something else or somebody else and it could be them coming but i feel like this energy here and i feel as as though this is the person who's not really focused on you they're focused on other people other things their money their finances well, it looks like you have another person a new person entering the scene uh, there's definitely an energy of healing uh, definitely of patience i feel some of you have lost patience with someone <laughs> yeah see there's that energy newly single a new person coming in uh, somebody is probably trying to find out if you are so someone who sees your value and your worth and when i see that it's usually someone who kind of can't believe that you're single okay but it's definitely that crossroads that choice that path to approaching if you've been dating a couple people yourself sad you may be about ready to make a decision tell me the hanged man what is this introspection yeah so someone who's kind of a little cautious careful what they wish for uh, somebody who offers one cup and nothing more it's because they hold back so you've got someone here is a little bit uh smug i feel uh, i think you're being cautious so you're kind of weighing the pros and the cons but i i feel as though you're uh, definitely single you have a single person coming towards you so that's uh, this is an energy where you're looking out for yourself okay looking out for number one you're looking good someone sees you different uh, maybe you look different or you're different than the usual type or they're seeing something different I, I think you're just different than this person okay i i think you got a person who's quite uh there's definitely change here i can see the energy change of appearance positive though you know it's a manifesting energy having all the tools you need to manifest what you want someone's manifesting you and i feel like you got some mirroring energy two single people who are ready for something different ready to do something different <laughs> oh my goodness but i see this energy of someone who feels they missed an opportunity uh, if somebody comes back around the way they did before i feel like you're breaking free i feel like something is over and you're moving towards a more solid foundation i see a strong financial foundation uh transition after an ending uh, it's definitely more stable there's a reason to celebrate you may have somebody who reaches out if you have a couple people i feel like you're not going to be sure someone's definitely going to get rejected i feel as though you're just breaking free of something you're letting go of a pattern a habit maybe you used to have a certain type or somebody else had a certain type and they're now ready to try a different type of person so there's a message there yeah so there's definitely uh, this energy uh, i see a taurus energy and it's about faith whether two people are on the same page or not some of you don't have any faith in any somebody who's coming back around uh, you're moving towards somebody who is on the same page the same path wants the same things 
So there's definitely a little bit of a pause here. This could be yourself taking a little pause, a little inner reflection. Um, just to remind yourself to be careful what you wish for if you let somebody come back around that juggled or cheated, okay, that didn't give you the attention you needed because you've got someone here. They may not be uh, super wealthy, but they're financially stable enough. They want to build something. They're creative. They're cooperative. They're willing to compromise. And they, I do feel like you have uh, something that makes you very compatible. You have things in common, or it could be an energy of things you have in common here. But you see this energy as yeah, you've I feel some of you I'm gonna tell you I feel like you got someone who's ready to commit someone who sees you just right I feel like you will make the right choice here so it's telling you to go within and just take that little pause if somebody comes back around and they cheated or juggled or they hurt you it's telling you to be careful what you wish for you'll get exactly what like you did before so it's time to break that pattern uh, or the type of person Maybe some of you have dated a few people. You always end up with the same type. It's telling you to look at that, Sag. So tell me about this lead here. Yeah, so there's someone who's coming in to take the lead. This is a leader. This is someone sincere. This is definitely someone who's decisive. They want to work. They want to build something with you. Could be somebody that you worked with. Some of you are making a choice that there's no hope with somebody, but there's uh, definitely the possibility of this other person. Yeah, moving towards something more stable, someone reliable, someone who has your best interests at heart. They're sincere. You see, this is someone who's a leader. They're not afraid to take the lead. Beautiful. You're going to let this person take the lead too. You're going to sit back in your Empress energy. Somebody here needs to figure out what they want. So it could be this person who, you know, they're kind of breadcrumbing. They're not sharing a lot. No, they may be, they could be the one doing that introspection that they need to take the lead. They need to figure out what it is they want before they come towards you. So it's definitely that kind of energy as well. Hmm. But I think you're, you're going to pick the right person. I see justice and balance, two people who are a good fit that are right for each other. So I feel like you're about to get some justice. And uh, this could lead. I do see um, this very well could lead to, I think what you have is a person who's been dating the same kind of person over and over again with the same results. It always ends. Could have been someone who's married a few times and they've had a few divorces. But they're releasing that baggage, okay? They're letting go. And I, this is what I like. This is a, somebody who values you, who sees your worth. Really nice. Tell me about the star and we'll wrap this up. Just want to dig and see what else comes out. Tell me about the star. What's being released here? Is this person healing? Yeah, all their options. Someone's releasing all their options. They're making a decision. They're making a choice here. And they see your worth and your value. This person's ready to try a different type of person. And I feel like you are too. Because <laughs> I'm seeing that energy twice. And if you have an emperor here who... Or somebody who was breadcrumbing and they weren't really being clear about what they wanted. They're becoming more decisive about what they want. Okay. Um, but if you don't have an X energy and you're making a choice, you're definitely going to go towards that person who's compatible, financially stable. Uh, I see a lot of talk back and forth, uh, but I see you moving very quickly towards this compatible person. It's a, it feels vice versa, too. Uh, I see a lot of talk through creativity. So I wonder if this is somebody you work with or create worked on something with. Um... I see emails, text messages, things like that, back and forth, cooperating, compromising, working together to build something. So some of you, it could be someone you've worked for or you've done work for or vice versa. So yeah, moving towards emotional fulfillment. Some of you are moving away from somebody towards this other person or they are moving away from someone. Yeah. There's change coming here. It's time for change. It's time for something different. One more on this Two of Wands. Why is this here? Oops. Yeah, someone's up in their head thinking. So someone's strategizing, you see. It's a course of action here, making a decision. This is someone who's 
offering one cup their strategy and that's where you're going to notice it they're up in their head they're not very emotional i feel they may even come across as a little cold so it looks like some of you have a few people around you but i feel there's an ending here and i think you're moving towards um, something that you're waiting for is about to happen because of something that's ended or somebody is waiting for you to end something vice versa wow you guys sagittarius this is different for your kind of reading for sure i see two people who are just right <laughs> two people have things in common they live have the same lifestyle and i see uh, faith and commitment Someone's going to get rejected. See, someone's going to offer something that's not good enough. You see, their strategy, that's where you're going to be. You're going to notice something's off. So it's telling you to trust in your own decision-making process. Somebody is reaching out here. I see, again, there's three hands there. Interesting enough. So and I think you got a person who's definitely ready to reach out. Some of you are going to stop talking to somebody and, and just let them go. So yeah, you're, and you're definitely teaching someone how you want to be treated by valuing yourself. So if you have someone who doesn't give, they don't reciprocate, you're going to be teaching them how to be, how you want to be treated, but you're learning something here. And uh, so I feel this is again that energy of the Hierophant, right? So I, I see marriage and commitment. I see two people uh, having faith in each other, two people who look out for each other's best interests. Now, you're going to take this slow, I feel. Uh, making sure this person puts in the effort uh, you will not be doing all the work if you have somebody who wants you to do all the work too that's telling you to look at that energy of this person someone isn't going to put much work in uh, it's a person who sometimes rushes in before they know what they want so yeah uh, you got someone who definitely wants to be with you uh, so i see yeah see there's that empress someone who's just right so this Teaching someone how you want to be treated, that Empress energy, okay? Now, it's not always easy, but that's what it wants you to do, is let this person take the lead. They need to know what they want, because when you uh, chase somebody or go after them, sometimes they'll go for it, but then they don't know what they want. They don't put in any effort, and they rush in and rush out. And uh, so I feel that's what it's telling you to do. Beautiful. With this person especially, because... Uh, this is someone who's looking for an empress. They're looking for someone who's uh, just right, but possibly different than their usual type. Okay, <laughs> you see? Yeah, very wise. You're being very wise here. So, and I, I feel too, when this person reaches out to you, I feel that um, there's things you're going to learn about each other. And that's why you want to take it slow. Uh, and it doesn't mean it's going to be at a turtle's pace either. It's slow and steady. Okay, somebody wants to court you slow and steady. They want to show you they're uh, reliable, they're stable. This is someone I feel who has some pride too. They like to be financially prepared. Um, this is someone who wants to make sure they have the house, the home, uh, the bank account before they uh, commit or get married. So very positive. Take care, you guys. I wish you the best. Bye for now.